What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have uh, at the shop a full wrap on a Model X. We're doing a caliper paint, we're doing a window tint on that. So it's gonna be a lot of work uh, that needs to get done to that vehicle. Uh, that video is gonna be on a separate channel, like a two auto. Uh, so make sure to go check it out. Link in the description box below. Uh, we're gonna continue with the vlog today. Uh, yeah, checking up on email in the morning. I might go make myself some eggs. My mouse kept dying. Um, I'm gonna go make myself some eggs in a little bit. Uh, and then we're gonna get the day started. So yeah guys, on that note, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, wonderful morning, night, evening, whenever you guys are watching this video. And uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. Well, we have a pack house. Let's talk about this car for a little bit. Actually, let me pull it outside first. Oh yeah. Look who just pulled up. Gustavo. Yeah, if only this car make that sound. It's actually turbo. We can actually wake this car up by just a tune and maybe downpipe an exhaust. Uh, but you know, that's why we gotta talk about it because I wanna do so much things to this car. There's so much potential, uh, untapped potential. All right, so the Mercedes, untapped potential. You already know that, yada, 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 but we can't do nothing to it. I love the wrap, but I prefer it more sand black. So this car is actually, uh, it's being rent out and it's, it's for sale at the same time. Last time a renter rent this vehicle, they pretty much hit a whole side. They curb check the tires here and the wheels. Got got my big chunk of tires there, but it's actually not too deep. So I'm gonna let that ride for right now. The side skirt is a little bit scratched on the bottom, and same thing with this tire. That chunk is just completely disappeared. So and of course it's curb right there. Like I say, it's not too major. It still hold air, so it's nothing crazy. The wrap still looks absolutely amazing, and the car still performs uh, absolutely amazing. So that's uh, that's the story with that car. I'm gonna keep it. And we're gonna rock it for a little while, uh, but if we can sell it before that, or if we can keep renting it out, then hey, whichever works. So, is my door locked? Ah, it goes so long. The Lincoln is still doing a really, really good job on Turo. Still getting rent out uh, on a consistent. Ooh, there's a bird poop. Bird poop alert. Luckily, it's not on the paint. Lincoln still. Doing an amazing job, still being an amazing car it is. Uh, we bought this car as pretty much zero miles. Uh, it's been about a year and some some months now, and we at about 28,000 miles. So that's quite a, a good amount of miles just within one year. Uh, oh my God, I got poop stain on the glass too. Oh, disgusting. Ay, ay, ay. Then now I gotta check if there's bird poop really on the paint on that side because then I gotta go wash it off or wipe it off. It's such a beautiful day today. My camera's not picking it up because the exposure is too much. Oh, there it is. Look at that, how beautiful sunny it is. It's said that it's gonna rain this whole week, but for some reason, it's been sunny. It only had that one thunderstorm the past two days. Uh, actually, fucked up a lot of people's shit. But uh, yeah, today is a beautiful day. And we are grateful for that because we need a beautiful day to get shit done here at the shop. All right guys, the vehicle, the caliper is now done. Look at how crazy green uh, color that is just shining through the wheel. So the car is getting a good wash right now. Uh, we got the pressure washer hooked up. We're gonna do a foam bath on this bad boy. Show you guys how brand new, brand new this car is. This car, literally, let me go to the to the software here. This car right here, if, if the camera can focus, it's a Model X flat with literally 38 miles total on the vehicle. That is just how brand new this car is, straight from the dealership. And it comes with a carbon, carbon fiber interior package. 
you get on the dash on the door panel you get the whole center console carbon fiber and of course the flat steering wheel how crazy is that all right we just finished washing the tesla it is now back in the bay where we're going to be wrapping the vehicle um it is about 12 30 so me and gustav are gonna skedat out of here and go get us some lunch we also have a booking we also have a book oh out of focus we also have a booking for the mercedes right now uh for Turo. so we're gonna go get that car wash and then we are going to go get some lunch and bring it right back i can't remember uh maybe Got a new shipment of our stack PPF here. I'm excited, this box is kind of messed up though. I don't know if I should be concerned. There's a hole. There's a hole here from shipping. We're gonna cut it up just to make sure though. In a little bit. We also have, so that's our big roll, our five foot roll, and this is our three foot roll. I got this PPF yesterday. This is one of the more intricate pieces. Uh, the PPF actually needs some spot need to get dry and pushed out, but it is a pretty tricky um, front lip to PPF, and it's coming off of a Lexus uh, 250 IS 250, I believe. So, but it's looking really good. What if a cool thing about Stack give you a little gift here that you can eat and chew on? They give give you little candy bags in every uh, shipment of roll. So when that I undo that box next time, I'm getting the back of candies. So that's pretty cool. It would be nice if they add some more candies, because I will eat these in like 30 minutes. So, <laughs> but yeah, kudos to Stack for taking care of uh, their customer. This is absolutely awesome. Yeah. And right, we are about to remove the battery. All right, the Tesla is now getting ready to get accessory taken off, like our doors our sensors and among with a few other things so to do that without having to recalibrate things most likely we still have to recalibrate some stuff but not a lot but we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery this is the main wire right here you see this wire with the fireman uh, hats on here you disconnect this and the whole car turns off this is a safety switch uh, make it super easy so you have to disconnect the battery so if, you, if I unplugged it you're gonna see the whole car shut off if I can, there you go all right guys, it's just like that. The whole system is off. If you try to do anything, the car just will not correspond. So when we plug everything back the exact same way with the doors open and power back on, the car should not think that it needs to be calibrated or anything was unplugged. So that's how you trick the, uh, the ECU on Tesla. All right, guys, today overall was a very productive day. We got this car all cleaned up. We got one side pretty much kind of stripped. We don't have to drop the door on this one. Granted, we don't really want to drop it anyway, being a butterfly door. I don't even know where to even start dropping this door. But luckily, it goes up so we can actually get a wrap all the way in the jam without having to remove the door. Same thing on the door. The door is pretty open, so we can just start wrapping here for the jams. Uh, as far as the front door, we really stripped everything. Anything you think of, you got the window trim here. You got the P, uh, the A, or the, you call it the B pillar. Uh, we disconnect those as well. All the way around, the rubber is off. We're gonna get all the way in here and in there as well. So this car is gonna be blue all the way out. You're not gonna be able to see any white by the time we finish with this job. And that is the goal when we're doing jams and when customers are paying for a high quality job. So this is what we're doing. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna start on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some cars in. We're gonna put a Mustang in first because that is gonna get unwrapped tomorrow once we finish stripping this car. And then we have my Lincoln and the roller is gonna pull back in. So uh, that'll be it, guys. All right, guys, it's the end of the night. We have a successful day. Like I said, we got the Mustang in. This is gonna be the one we are going to be starting stripping and unwrapping tomorrow with our steam and air pressure technique, which I'm gonna show you guys in the next vlog. So make sure to stay tuned. This is the Royce. I'm 
Uh, we got to wash it a little bit today. It looks a little, it looks a lot cleaner and it's not neglected. Um, it looks like it run, which oh my god, the days the days are counting down for this car to run. So I'm excited to get the joint on with Jay to get this car up and going. How gorgeous this thing is! So massive, and then of course we have the Lincoln back in. I have my Porsche Macan and the AMG Mercedes get rent out. So uh, yeah, it's a good day overall. A uh, day like this makes me happy and of course the team did an awesome job as well hey guys thank you so much for tuning in to another vlog thank you guys thank you again we bless peace out see you guys tomorrow we'll peace out yeah. peace all right see you guys